Involving the Union for State Police Troopers, the former president and a lobbyist are both under arrest, accused of creating a bribe and kickback scheme. The former union president, Dana Pullman, is accused of embezzling money he allegedly spent on flowers, lavish dinners, and travel. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live outside federal court tonight with the latest. Louisa? Lisa David, investigators say Pullman and former lobbyist Ann Lynch crossed over the thin blue line to committing felonies. They walked into federal court in handcuffs and walked out today on a $25,000 unsecured bond. Mr. Pullman strongly denies each and every one of the allegations in today's criminal complaint. Dana Pullman's attorney gave a short statement on his behalf. Then the former president of the State Police Association of Massachusetts walked away without taking questions. His alleged co-conspirator, former lobbyist Ann Lynch, left federal court out a back door and didn't say a word. We believe Pullman wielded the union like a criminal enterprise, running it like an old school mob boss. The FBI announcing the two were arrested on fraud and obstruction of justice charges Wednesday. Between 2012 and 2018, during Pullman's time as union head, investigators say they gave each other thousands in kickbacks from a $22 million settlement with the Commonwealth, defrauded two companies that wanted to do business with Massachusetts in exchange for kickbacks from Lynch's lobbying firm. And Pullman is also accused of putting thousands of dollars worth of personal expenses on his union debit card, including an alleged trip to Miami with a person he was having an affair with. He squandered thousands of dollars on high-end meals, including champagne and caviar, expensive flowers, gift baskets, iTunes gift cards, and even a fully loaded Chevy Suburban. The money from an account primarily funded by union dues. Pullman essentially took money from the pockets of fellow state police. But Pullman's attorney says not so. Mr. Pullman did not act in any respect to compromise his loyalty or to betray his trust in the union. Pullman and Lynch are also accused of obstructing the investigation. If convicted, their charges would carry a maximum of 30 years in prison. Live outside Boston Federal Court, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.